What's going on guys? I'm Chump Change XD. Today's video, Evergreen sent us over their pre-plotted Chia Miner that is supposed to be super low wattage, super easy to set up, and I want to get this thing in my solar trailer. So let's dive into what the Chia project is just briefly before we go through the setup and then we'll get this thing in the trailer. So this right here is the official Chia website. Let's just kind of read through this together and see what it's all about. Chia is based upon an innovative consensus algorithm, proof of space and time that leverages the vast amounts of over allocated hard drive space to create the first new Nakamoto consensus since Bitcoin in 2009. Proof of space is a cryptographic technique where farmers prove that they allocate unused hard drive space to the network. Proof of time increases the overall security of the blockchain by increasing the attack resistance of our consensus to 51% in most cases. Compared to proof of work blockchains, Chia is less energy intensive and more inclusive while being at least as secure. Compared to the proof of stake blockchain, Chia is much less vulnerable to attack or manipulation and does not suffer from the problem of the rich get richer and the centralizing effects of staking. Chia delivers the security and safety of Bitcoin along with the functional belief of a purpose-built and more secure on-chain smart coin environment. All right, so now we're here at the Evergreen site. So this is where you can purchase it. It says starting at $299, you can own your own. Um, again, you guys can determine if it's worth it or not. I will do a profitability video at the end of the month on this unit once it's actually been a month, but they do have the starter kit, which is $299. Starter Kit Plus, $12.99, and then the Starter Kit Pro, which is $27.99. Totally up to you guys. That's 160 terabytes. It's amazing. It's a lot of hard drive space. But anyways, let's get over to the actual setup. So what we need to do first is go and download the app to our phone. So this is going to be a step-by-step -step that I'll do for you guys right here. All right, so right here, what we're going to do is we're going to download the app, obviously searching iPhone or Android. You're going to go in and set up your wallet. Now, what you're going to do is set up a passphrase or a PIN, then your nickname, and it's going to download the private keys or whatever it has to do on this. And then we're going to get into setting up the miner. All right, so we've completed the first two steps. We downloaded the app and we added our first wallet. So now right here, it's saying we need to more or less plug everything in. So let's go set this thing up and then we'll connect it to the phone. All right, so this is the Evergreen Miner. As you can see, this is where all the uh, ports are. We have four USBs, Ethernet and power. Then we have another power and a USB end that goes into there to basically connect the two that is right here it comes with a green ethernet cable and two power supplies now mr hawk crypto actually had a splitter that came with his and it was only one plug i really wish that this was only one plug because that's kind of a pain that i have to get a power strip to be able to plug both of these in all right i got a power meter right here so we can check on this thing in just a second now this is all situated all plugged in again the usb is plugged into the raspberry pi part and then down into the hard drive and then we have the power here power there ethernet there which is plugged into my uh, network switch so turn this on i guess it's easier to start it up with the ethernet okay there we go registering so now once we have this connected to our network, we're going to set up the Wi-Fi in the app, and then this thing should be able to connect wirelessly, which is kind of cool. All right, so idle, we're looking roughly 12 and a half watts. It's bouncing between 11 and 13, and that's not mining, supposedly. As you can see right now, it's blue. I think it's supposed to be green when it starts mining. All right, so now what we got to do is set up our device. So I obviously had to add it to my network, and if it has an issue doing it, you're going to have to go into your settings on your phone and actually connect it through there. Then you're going to set up an account, Type in your email and it's going to give you a confirmation pin after you type in your password. Type that in and you're good to go. All right, she's finally up and mining, or at least uh, that's what the green light means. It is actually still around the same exact wattage as it was idle. So that's kind of interesting. Right around uh, 11 to 13 watts, I would say. It's just bouncing back and forth. All right, so now obviously if you guys have any issues, you can just come to this page and follow these instructions step by step. It shows you exactly what I was talking about, how to set up the device and add the Wi-Fi. If it doesn't actually just originally pick it up, you go right here and this is the password EVGOS123 with an explanation point. So you can do that yourself and uh, then it should start mining. It's actually super simple, but I did have one issue and I know somebody else that had the same issue. So I feel like I need to show you guys. It's not really something that was looked past. It's just a manufacturing issue that you might possibly have if the device is not syncing properly. So let me just show you, it's a super simple fix. All right, so this was the issue right here on the hard drive side of the two pieces. It's the heavier one. It actually just pops right apart and you can look inside of it. 
you can see this computer chip on the top right now this section right here there is a broken pin all right it's supposed to be broken it's supposed to be completely disconnected the issue is cutting that right there for the manufacturing process is obviously super hard and it can actually bridge itself together with like the smallest fragment of metal so if it is not syncing properly or taking forever and it's just you know kind of spinning saying device is syncing and nothing's happening it's been like a half hour and it's still not done there is probably an issue here so you're gonna have to pop that apart take a razor knife or something thin just kind of scrape in between the connection right there put it back together plug it in and the thing should sync right up in a few minutes and that was it problem solved so just had to bring that to light again it wasn't something they intentionally meant to do but things happen you know what i mean obviously it's first revision and they're starting up so can't really blame them so what you guys think hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully that helped you guys out that may have purchased one of these and you're having this exact issue honestly it was a super simple fix and it just it sucked at first but once i realized it was that easy to fix i just did it myself and you know all is good you can see it's running right there behind me what i'm going to do is actually get that in my solar trailer in one of the next upcoming videos along with the other bitcoin solo miner so Stay tuned for that. And as always, if you guys appreciated this content, please go down there, hit that like button and consider subscribing. Also, if you haven't seen this video right here, please go check it out and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.